In this video, we're going to create clickable links. So if I click on one of these elements, you will see that immediately it will open up a other website. And here another one, there we are, chartjs.org. So let's start to look how to create this. So let's start to add up the clickable links. To do this, we will be needing some items or we need to import some components. So the first component I'm going to import is our use ref, which basically allows us to track on which element we're clicking on which is the this element in other words. So we're going to say the, uh, from React and later on you'll see exactly what I mean. So once we have that, another one is the get element at events, which is a specific get elements with an S at events, which is a specific function from React Charge.js, but Charge.js has this function as well. So now we have that, we can start to work on our radar chart here. And all this code I already have from my previous video. So in the description box, you'll find the link. So in here, what I want to do is I want to say on click object this equals curly braces on click. Another one is the uh, ref, which is, which we will name a uh, chart ref. And this ref is basically the reference of this use ref here. So what I'm going to say now is I want to trigger those. So what we need to do here, constant use ref equals or chart ref equals use ref function. All right. So once we have that, another one is the on click and the on click is an event that we want to create, which is a callback functionality. So we're going to grab this and put that in there. And then what I want to do here is to get basically the variables when I click on a specific element. So for this, I'm going to say here, get elements at event. And then this event, where do, do we do it? On the chart ref current. Basically what, what it reference to is this canvas here. And when we click on this event, and it's a click event, because it's a click event, it tracks this event. So if I do a console log, you will see we got, we will get these variables here. If I save this, refresh, open up the developer tab, and if I click on the items, you can see these are blank, but if I click on the element of the point, we'll get all the precious information we need. And what you basically need is uh, the data set index and the index number. So let's grab those numbers now. So how do we do this? We want to make sure that we filter out the white space. So we're going to say here, just if this variable here or this item here has a length of bigger than zero, that's it. And if that is the case, show the console log here. If it's not the case, hide it. Save, refresh. If I click now on the white space, nothing works. But if I click on here, it does work. You can see here, we have these click events here showing again. All right. So what I want to do now is get the data set index and the index number. So how do we do that? Just constant and just grab all of this, copy that. And I'm going to say here, let's say in the, or a data set index number equals this index zero. And then we say dot and why index zero? Because we get here the index zero and then dot data set index data set index. By doing that, we get the variable of that specific item. What I want as well is the data point. So I'll just call this the data point. And the data point is just the index number of that element. So if I save, refresh, and if I click here, of course, nothing works yet. Let's do console log on the data point. Grab this, put it in there, save, refresh. Click, there we are, we get now one, zero, and number two. All right, so this is important because now we can start to put in here a link. So let's put in here a new item, let's call it link. And then we can just say here a website, say HTTP, and I'm going to say here chartjs3.com, which is my website, and then I'm going to just copy this, put a comma, then put that in there, and another comma, put that in there, and this one is number. Four, and this one is chartjs.org, which is the official documentation website. So if I save this, but then of course, I want to make sure that we grab those variables. So how do we do that? Well, what I want to do is here, now console log. 
And we're going to say we go to the data object from data to the data sets index zero and then to link whatever index we select on. So we say yeah, data dot data sets index. What is the index number? Here we are. Dot link index. What is the index number? Whatever we selected on. If I save this, refresh. Click on this. You can see here now we get the link in the console log. Let's uh, print out this item. So we're going to say window dot open. And then we're going to put in this variable here. We copy that, put that in there. Comma, and what I want to do is I want to open it in a new tab. So I'm going to say a blank or underscore blank. And then it will be in a new tab. If I save this now, refresh and click on one of these items. You get a charge yes four. Click on this, should be charge yes three. You can see it takes some time to load, but and this one here is charge yes.org. Alright, and that's basically it.